Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3 by JimShaper.com. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the accordion add on. Let's get started. So, we're going to be working on the front end uh, of the site. And as I mentioned before, you can do stuff on the back end as well. But since there have been so many great features that have been added to the front end, it's a lot easier to do that. So, in order to do so, you have to log into the front end of your website. So, I've created a login here. Once you log into the front end of your website, you're going to automatically activate edit page. This is what you need to click on in order for you to access page builder. So you click on edit. And the last time we created the Joomla module add on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one and then click on OK. And next we're going to create one for the accordion. So you're going to drag the accordion and drag it on the page. And once you drag the accordion on the page, it automatically activates on the left column here the admin label. And as I mentioned before, the admin label is just for, your, for you only. It's not visible to the front end or anyone. So we're going to call this accordion. And the back end here, you can also put in for the title. You can put in accordion or whatever title that you want to call this. Or if you don't want to have a title, you can lift that blank as well. And then you have the options of selecting the HTML, uh, the tags. You have the H1 through H6. You can change the font size. You can change the style. Do you want it to be underlined? You can choose thin, extra light. So choose that. And you can choose the title color. So if you have a certain website scheme that you want to work with or that you're working with, uh, you can come here and just choose the color for that. So I'm just going to choose this color. And you can choose the margins. Now where it says accordion style, when you click on the drop down, you have several options to choose from here. You have the default, which is what you're looking at. You have the primary, you have the success, and you have the info, you have the warning. So let's go ahead and just choose info. And if you notice when you choose info, the color changes. Let's choose warning. That changes to that. Let's choose danger. So this is really great because there are times when you want to have certain parts of it a certain color maybe to match your website to match that particular page and you can change the accordion title according to that so when you look here it says open item what this means is when someone visits this page and the, the accordion shows up do you want it to open just the first item or do you want it to open up all the items or do you want to close all the items so when i click on close is going to close it. And this is what I usually recommend that you have the accordion closed because if you have a bunch of them and someone comes in the page, it's going to be too dragged down. So you want to keep things to a minimum. And then of course you have the accordion title. So this is where you can enter your text. So you click on edit and you can edit the text for the accordion. And you choose the alignment. You can choose left, center, or right. So I'm going to choose right. And once you click on the light man, you have some more options. You can choose the font family. You can choose the font line height. You can choose the font size. You can choose drop cap. You can choose uh, different things. So they've missed so many improvements with this. It gives you so much more control uh, in terms of how you want things to look. And if you're like me, when I'm designing things, I love to have different options. I want to be able to explore different colors, different positions, different things, just to see what type of look that I can generate. So based on the settings that I've chosen now, when I click on apply, I would have to click on this. This is too big because the, the size that we chose was too much. So to edit this again, you click on edit and you can just, I'm just going to delete that, delete that and just leave the default. So now when you click here, you notice that as like this and also to go back here you've actually enabled the drop cap which is what it looks like that so if you don't want the drop cap you click on hide it and it's not going to show the drop cap you know anymore so that's something that you can decide if you want to incorporate in there this concludes this lesson and the next lesson we're going to take a look at the contact form how to add a contact form on your page so make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram and Twitter uh, so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be the first one to be notified so you can watch it.